Welcome to Chopstick Travel. We're Luke and Sabrina, and today we are in Pakistan. In this video, we're going to be exploring the beautiful capital city of Islamabad with our friends from Manaki, checking out all the things you can do here in Islamabad and tasting all the delicious food. It's gonna be a great episode, so make sure you stay tuned until the end. Let's go eat some Pakistani food. So to start our tour here in Islamabad, we have come to a little village called Sedpur and it's right in the actual Islamabad city limits and it's a preserved village very similar to how it used to be except now they've actually added a lot of nice modern restaurants and cafes but it's been really worked into the traditional architecture nicely and you can even see they have a, a Hindu temple here, a Sikh Gurdwara and then of course they also also have mosques here so they have lots of interesting things we're gonna walk around a little bit and then stop at one of the restaurants for some breakfast all right guys I want to introduce you to our friend Sulmin from Manaki she is going to be joining us in Islamabad she I would say is the Islamabad expert <laughs> so she's gonna be showing us all kinds of things different dishes we can have different places to explore in Islamabad I'm more than excited I'm so happy that you guys are back and I'm so happy that you guys are starting from Islamabad with a true Islamabad and we're in <laughs> Sedpur right now and there's so much history to show you guys here. Yeah. So, so let's get going. Let's go. We are just exploring this historical community center in Sedpur and it's really cool because there's a ton of pictures on the wall, black and white, that show the development of Islamabad from nothing to a huge capital city. This is a planned city so all of these pictures show everything being built from scratch. It's really cool. I am chilling on the charpai. We are at Des Pardes and this is a really interesting looking restaurant where we're sitting on all these colorful charpai and this village is so beautiful. I've loved exploring but honestly, I'm hungry. I can't wait anymore. So we're here in the kitchen checking out how they're cooking our breakfast and we had to go with some parathas today. It's a classic Pakistani breakfast. So we've got two types of paratha. One is stuffed with aloo, potatoes. And the other one is plain, but it's cooked with desi ghee, that clarified butter. And you know they never hold back here in Pakistan on the ghee. So we've ordered our chai with ginger so he started with just a little bit of water some julian ginger and then some tea leaves brought that to a boil and then added uh, some really fresh local milk and then a lot more tea into that and then some cardamom pods and that is smelling incredible i am looking forward to chai <laughs> Yum. Oh, that looks so good. All right, we've got two different dishes here. The first one is the anda chana, so it's got a boiled egg in there and lots of spices, of course. And then this is the alu bujia, which is with potato and similarly just covered in spices. And then it's served with the uh, desi ghee parata. So I'm gonna rip a little piece of this off and I'll put some of this one first, the egg. I'll break this egg a little piece off and put it onto my plate. Oh man, I am so ready to dig into some Pakistani food and you can see all that ghee on there. Put a little bit on my plate here, a little bit more. Oh, let's try. <laughs> oh man, yum. The paratha is so crispy and it's actually not like spicy. It's just full of flavor and those chickpeas are so ridiculously soft. Oh man, that is good. That is a awesome breakfast okay let me try the aloo transferred onto my my plate here and this is like big chunks of potato 
So that one is much lighter in flavor and you can taste the fennel and it almost has like a little bit of a sweetness. Mm. And the parata. All right, chai has been poured and you can see it's starting to get this little film on top and this is gonna be a glorious moment. My first cup of chai back in Pakistan, I'm so ready. Oh yeah. Mm. The ginger in there and it's so creamy. I love, love the ginger flavor. Oh, I'm loving the atmosphere at this restaurant. It's nice and shaded from the trees and you've got these cool things you're sitting on the char pies. Mm. That was a great quick breakfast here in Sedpur. It's definitely a little touristy here, but the food there was really authentic and delicious. So you have all kinds of different artisanal shops here selling hand-painted teapots and things like that. And you can just walk around this little town, Sedpur, and just take in the views. Check this out. It is absolutely beautiful. You get the uh, Margola Mountains behind me and it is incredibly beautiful and peaceful here. So this little street food stall is called Bengali Samosa. They're serving samosas and he just poured a huge bucket full of them in. So they make a couple different ones with different fillings. The first one he's making right now is just filled with vegetables and he's just letting those fry up uh, golden crispy. And I think this is like the quintessential street food samosa. So I'm pretty excited to try it out. So here's the final product. These are the vegetable filled ones and then he served it with a special Bengali style chutney and these things are perfectly crisp. I can tell without even biting into them and we're just standing right on the side of the street. They just came out of the, the hot oil and I know that I'm gonna burn myself but I don't care because it's gonna be delicious. Oh. Whoa, check out that filling. Mmm. Oh, I love that chutney. It's a little bit sour. It's definitely got a little kick. And wow, that is a seriously crispy shell on that samosa. And it looks like lentils in there. Maybe even some cabbage. I'm not sure. Let's bite in again. Wow, that is hot. Damn, that is so good. I love how crispy it is, and the chutney is so flavorful. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a perfect little snack. You could eat like a hundred of these.
So he's just about finished frying up the second batch. This is the kima, so uh, ground meat on the inside and the smell of that is so strong and smells so delicious. That was a seriously good samosa. That puts uh, the samosas that we used to reheat in the oven from a box to shame. <laughs> All right, our second samosa is here. It's ready, it's out of the oil. So what kind do we have now? We have minced meat, mm -hmm. which we call kima. kima. And it's definitely gonna have onions mm -hmm. inside uh, because that adds to the flavor of the minced meat and it also helps um, make it more moist. Okay. Uh, and uh, the rest of what's inside, I think we'll have to discover. Okay, <laughs> I think it's gonna be really crispy. Yep. Let's go it's in, hot. cheers. Cheers. A little bit in the right there. Yep. So hot. All right, yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wow. That might be still a little too soon. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Did you hear the crunch? It is a secret recipe. So some spices, which I don't think we can decide very much of. I say a bit of green chili and the rest, they never tell us. Yeah, it's got a really nice spice blend flavor. Mm -hmm. Everything is kind of stained yellow inside. You can see. And I just can't get over the samosa wrapper. It is so crispy. I love it. Wow. Oh, what a good snack. <laughs> <laughs> Too good to wait. <laughs> We're burning our mouth here. It doesn't matter. This is the definition of fast food. It's my kind of fast food. You can see guys just ripping up on their motorcycles, grabbing a samosa, and on their way in less than 30 seconds. Those were absolutely incredible. The Kima one was definitely my favorite. So we're gonna go ahead to get some sweets now. So we've come to a place called Fresco Sweets. They have all of the favorite Pakistani sweets. There's so many different colors and shapes and sizes. And honestly, I don't recognize a lot of it, but I know we're gonna try the Gulab Jamun, which is my favorite. And just check out all these colors, wow. It smells really good in here. All right, so Samina and I are sitting down for some serious sweets. They've hooked us up with a massive plate. I recognize a couple things, but uh, you're gonna help me uh, identify all of them. But the first sure. one, of course, I know is the um, <laughs> Gulab Jamun. Oh, I almost, I almost <laughs> forgot the name. And it's nice and hot, so it's like soaked in syrup. And then this is another Gulab Jamun here? Same thing. Same thing? Yeah. Okay. And then this one's called the Ras Malai? The Ras Malai, And yes. it's in milk? Or it's in milk. It's in yeah. milk, but it's kind of like a Gulab Jamun, right? Absu absolutely not. Absolutely it's not. Oh, no. opposite. It looks like it in terms of the size. Yeah. But in flavor, it it's literally like cotton. It will melt in your mouth. Okay, I'm excited yeah. to try that. And this is cold. This is cold. And then we've got a spread here. And the only one I recognize is the burpee in the middle. Okay. Which is like a milk solid. Absolutely. So what else do we have here? Okay, so this is a fig uh, sweet. Fig, okay. And it looks like there's almonds inside? Yes, yep. there's nuts inside. So this uh, fig is called injeer in Urdu. Okay. Uh, then this is made of uh, cottage cheese. Oh, okay. Paneer? Yes, paneer. Okay, wow. Then this is, this is called dood peda. Mm -hmm. which is made primarily of milk. Milk, okay, so it's like a milk solid. These two are chum chums. They're chum both chum. Bengali chum chums. Okay. This is another kind of gulab jamun, which is smaller. Sure. And it's not hot right now. Okay. This is pistachio, pistachio sweet. Yeah. Okay. And this is made of cashew nuts. Okay, so this was halwa, right? This is halwa. Okay, wow. All right, so let's dig into the ras malai. I gotta cut this in half, because this thing is huge. It is. And it's swimming in this milky uh, liquid. Wow. Mm. It is light, right? It is not heavy on it's the It's like pie. a pillow. Just falls apart in your mouth. Yep. Super saturated with the uh, milk. Mm -hmm. And it's got that that uh, Pakistani sweets flavor. I can't like pinpoint exactly what it is. And it's favorable in all seasons. Mm -hmm. People enjoy it in the summers. People even enjoy it in the winters. All right, we've got a massive, massive gulab jamun. And, and this nice. is my favorite Pakistani sweet. Oh wow. Mm. Oh. That is so good. Really good. I could just sit here and eat those and you'd have to tear me away from them. I wouldn't be able to stop. It's so creamy like on the inside. And it, that one's more sweet, for it sure. It is, very definitely sweet. very sweet. It's not a gulab jamun if it's not dripping with shira, which is the sugar syrup. The sugar syrup, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so Sabrina and I now are gonna try out this this one, which is fig mm -hmm. on the outside, wrapped around some nuts. It looks like mainly almonds, maybe some pistachios in there too. Yeah. Let's try it out. I've never seen anything Cheers. like this. 
It looks like a Mackey roll. <laughs> yeah, it does. Mm. Ooh! That is very nice. Mm -hmm. It's exactly like a fig. Yeah. But there's nuts in it. And crunchy in the middle. It's not sweetened extra. It's just the natural sweetness from yep. the fig. And it's got all the little crunchy like fig seeds in it yep. there. Yep, a little oh. fruity. Oh, that's really good. Mm. All right. Yeah, um. So we are all sweets out here at Fresco Sweets. We had to pack those up because there's no way we were gonna finish them all. And we're gonna head back to the hotel we're staying at now, which is called the Serena Islamabad. It's an absolutely gorgeous hotel, so I'm gonna give you guys a little tour before we have a really amazing dinner there tonight. <laughs> So this is our room here at the Serena Islamabad. It has a beautiful Northern Pakistan architecture and it's very foreshadowing because we are going to be heading north on this trip to Pakistan to Gilgit Baltistan, uh, Hunza Valley, Skardu, and a couple other places. So the bulk of our trip is gonna be spent up in the north and it should be the perfect time for autumn colors, but we had to come in through Islamabad first and uh, no complaints because this city is one of my favorites in all Pakistan. And let me show you the best part of this room, the balcony, one of the two balconies. So you get incredible views over the courtyard here at Serena Islamabad and this is such a green city Islamabad. It's so full of uh, lush green trees. I love it. And the sun's starting to go down a bit and we're going to take a little break before we have dinner tonight at the famous restaurant here at Serena Islamabad called Devat. We're just arriving at our dinner and of course Pakistani hospitality is unreal. Another bouquet of flowers. So gorgeous. Just love it here. What a warm welcome. So we are at Devat. This is one of Serena Islamabad's many restaurants and they have live music going on here. The dining room is absolutely gorgeous. This hotel is just mind blowing. It's very classy and they have a couple different dishes we've ordered from different regions of Pakistan and I think the food's gonna be really good so let's dig in. So this is pretty cool for our appetizer. I've just got one little piece of paneer here that's been uh, marinated in some masala and then served with this balochi uh, sauce and it was cooked in a tandoor oven so let's try this out. Mm. Oh, that's really really good. Yum. That is seriously good. It's really cheesy on the inside and then you've got this kind of crusty layer on the outside and then that sauce is nice and tangy and it's got this fruity tamarind flavor. Yum. All right, food has been served and this looks absolutely incredible. Check this out right here. This is prawns. So it's baloch style prawns. It looks like a tomato based uh, gravy and all those little prawns in there. That looks absolutely incredible. And then back here we've got the mutton chomps, mm -hmm. Punjabi style. Mm -hmm. Look at those, those look super tender. And then this is something really unique. It honestly looks like a shepherd's pie or something <laughs> like that, but apparently there's biryani underneath here. Yes. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Okay, correct. so how do we how do we do this? We're going to break the puff pastry oh, on wow. top. It's yeah. a thick pastry actually yep. on top. Yeah, and it's going to be part of your serving. Oh yeah, you, okay, so you eat the, the biryani rice with the- With it, yes. With the puff pastry. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> look at that color. Incredible. So is there meat in this? Yes. Yeah, chicken or? You'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it's very tender. Wow, I've never seen anything like that before. Okay, I I'm gonna go right in for this. Grab a little piece of the puff pastry and some of the biryani. It's gonna be hot. Mm. It's 
It's really interesting. The pastry is super flaky. You get a really mild spice in there. The biryani is so soft, the rice. Every time I come to Pakistan, I got to eat as much biryani as possible because it's one of my favorite dishes of all time. Oh yeah, that's awesome. One thing you'll notice is there's so much sauce in this biryani. None of the rice is left white at all. It's all coated in all that flavor. And this is a seriously good biryani. And the meat is so tender. Oh man. That's phenomenal. All right, time to move on to the balochi shrimp or prawn dish. And that looks like a seriously thick gravy. And wow, I, I've never had a, like a shrimp dish in Pakistan before. So this is gonna be my first time trying it out. Try to get a couple of them. They're all pretty small. Oh. Mm. Wow. That is totally not what I was expecting it to taste like at all. The shrimps are really plump and that kind of bursts in your mouth. And the flavor of the gravy has this really unique kind of sweetness to it from the tomatoes. And I love the shrimp, like it's such a nice change. It's a light compared to the like fatty uh, mutton and you gotta get all that sauce with the naan. Ooh. That is awesome. Okay, so our last dish, this is the mutton chumps. Yes. Yes, and you said there's something special about this. Absolutely, these are mutton Jahangiri chumps, Jahangir. which are named uh, after the Mughal Emperor Jahangir, whose tomb okay. is also in Lahore. So these are from the Punjab region. And unlike a lot of chomps that are made usually fried or barbecued, these are in a thick gravy. Mm -hmm. Again, a lot of tomato base and definitely worth having. Wow, okay, so Jihangir chomps. Jihangir chomps, okay. yeah. Wow, those look awesome. Look at them. They're just perfect little chops. Yeah. Oh, wow, that just fell apart. I got a big chunk here. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so tender. Let's try. Whoa, that is tender. Oh my gosh. Just a really fresh tomato flavor and you get the natural mutton flavor too. And it's just ridiculously soft. Look at this. To be able to pull this apart with, like I could just stick my finger through it and it'll just fall apart. That is so, so tender. You can see how stringy it is. Yum. Oh man. The food here has been so good so far. Awesome. Okay, the food there was absolutely incredible. It's an award-winning restaurant and we are loving this hotel, the Serena Islamabad. That's it for day one here in Pakistan. An incredible day with our friends, Manaki. You really need to check them out when you're planning your trip to Pakistan. If you wanna have an incredible trip, check out manaki.com. All the information will be for them down in the description box. And what do you think the best thing we had today was, Serena? I, I have to say that biryani, I, I am obsessed with biryani and that was one of the best versions we've ever had, I think. Yeah, the biryani was incredible, but I will also give it up for that Bengali samosa Ooh, because yeah. that was awesome That's too. True. If you guys haven't already, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you're notified when we post our next video and we'll see you on the next one from Chopstick Travel. Bye. Bye.